The Society of the Cincinnati is a hereditary society with branches in the United States and France, founded in 1783, to preserve the ideals and fellowship of officers of the Continental Army who served in the Revolutionary War. Now in its third century, the Society promotes the public interest in the Revolution through its library and museum collections, publications, and other activities. It is the oldest hereditary society in the United States. The society does not allow women to join, though there is a partnership society called Daughters of the Cincinnati which permits all female descendants of Continental officers. <inaudible> Origins The society is named after Lucius Quinctius Cincinnatus, who left his farm to accept a term as Roman consul and served as Magister Populi with temporary powers similar to that of a modern-era dictator. He assumed lawful dictatorial control of Rome to meet a war emergency. When the battle was won, he returned power to the Senate and went back to plowing his fields. The society's motto reflects that ethic of selfless service, omnia reliquit servare republicam. He relinquished everything to save the republic. The Society has had three goals. To preserve the rights so dearly won, to promote the continuing union of the states, and to assist members in need, their widows, and their orphans. The concept of the Society of the Cincinnati was that of Major General Henry Knox. The first meeting of the Society was held in May 1783 at a dinner at Mount Julian Verplank House in Fishkill, New York, before the British evacuation from New York City. The meeting was chaired by Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Hamilton, and the participants agreed to stay in contact with each other after the war. Membership was generally limited to officers who had served at least three years in the Continental Army or Navy, it included officers of the French Army and Navy above certain ranks. Officers in the Continental Line who died during the war were also entitled to be recorded as members, and membership would devolve to their eldest male heir. Members of the considerably larger fighting forces comprising the colonial militias and Minutemen were not entitled to join the society. Within 12 months of the founding, a constituent society had been organized in each of the 13 states and in France. Of about 5,500 men originally eligible for membership, 2,150 had joined within a year. King Louis XVI ordained the French Society of the Cincinnati, which was organized on July 4, 1784 Independence Day. Up to that time, the King of France had not allowed his officers to wear any foreign decorations, but he made an exception in favor of the badge of the Cincinnati. Later in the 18th century, the Society's rules adopted a system of primogeniture wherein membership was passed down to the eldest son after the death of the original member. Present-day hereditary members generally must be descended from an officer who served in the Continental Army or Navy for at least three years, from an officer who died or was killed in service, or from an officer serving at the close of the Revolution. Each officer may be represented by only one descendant at any given time, following the rules of primogeniture. The rules of eligibility and admission are controlled by each of the 14 constituent societies to which members are admitted. They differ slightly in each society, and some allow more than one descendant of an eligible officer. The requirement for primogeniture made the society controversial in its early years, as the new states quickly did away with laws supporting primogeniture as remnants of the English feudal system. George Washington was elected the first president general of the society. He served from December 1783 until his death in 1799. The second president general was Alexander Hamilton. Upon Hamilton's death the third president-general of the society was Charles Coatsworth Pinckney. The society's members have included notable military and political leaders, including 23 signers of the United States Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> Original members Not a complete list. New Hampshire Joseph Silly, Henry Dearborn, Nicholas Gilman, John Sullivan, James Reed Massachusetts 
Stephen Abbott, Jeduthan Baldwin, John Brooks, Henry Burbick, David Cobb, John Crane, Thomas Humphrey Cushing, William Eustace, Constant Freeman, John Grayton, Africa Hamlin, William Heath, William Hull, Thomas Hunt, Henry Knox, Henry Jackson, Michael Jackson, Simon Larnd, Benjamin Lincoln, Samuel Nicholson, William North, Rufus Putnam, William Shepard, William Stacy, Benjamin Tupper, Elisha Horton, Abraham Williams, John Yeomans, Dr. Abijah Richardson. Topic: Rhode Island. Israel Angel, William Barton, Archibald Crary, Nathaniel Green, Moses Hazen, Daniel Jackson, William Jones, Daniel Lyman, Kagishal Olney, Jeremiah Olney, Stephen Olney, Henry Sherburn, Silas Talbot, William Tew, Simeon Thayer, James Mitchell Varnum, Abraham Whipple, Joseph Arnold. Topic: Connecticut. Abraham Baldwin, Joel Barlow, Zebulon Butler, Henry Champion, John Chester, Jonathan Hart, David Humphreys, Ebenezer Huntington, Jedediah Huntington, Jacob Kingsbury, John Mansfield, Joseph Spencer, Benjamin Talmadge, Jonathan Trumbull Jr. John Willis, Palgrave Willis, Amos Walbridge Major. <laughs> New York Aaron Burr, George Clinton, James Clinton, John Doughty, Nicholas Fish, Peter Gansvoort, Alexander Hamilton, Rufus King, Joseph Hardy, John Lamb, General, Morgan Lewis, Henry Beekman Livingston, Alexander McDougall, Charles McKnight, David Oliphant, Philip Schuyler, John Moran Scott, William Stevens Smith, John Stagg Jr., Ebenezer Stevens, Silas Talbot, Benjamin Talmadge, Philip Van Cortland, Henry Vanderberg, Cornelius Van Dyke, John Van Dyke, Richard Varick, William Scudder, Dr. K. Caleb Sweet, Maj. Gen. Baron von Steuben, Lt. Call, Bernardus Swartwout, Cornelius Swartwout, B. G. Philip van Cortland, Baron Frederick von Weisenfels. <laughs> New Jersey James Anderson, Abraham Appleton, James Francis Armstrong, Daniel Baldwin, Jeremiah Ballard, William Barton, John Beatty, John Bishop, John Blair, Joseph Bloomfield, Absalom Bonham, James Bonnell, Seth Bowen, Nathaniel Bowman, David Burley, Almerin Brooks, Jeremiah Brune, Joseph Buck, William Burnett, Eden Burroughs, John Burroughs, Lambert Cadwallader, George Walker Campbell, Jabba's Campfield, Samuel Kahn, John Conway, Richard Cox, John Noble Cumming, Ephraim Darby, Elias Day Dayton, Jonathan Dayton, Cyrus DeHart, Nathaniel Donnell, Louis Ford Dunham, Ebenezer Elmer, Eli Elmer, Peter Faulkner, Chilion Ford, Malin Ford, David Foreman, Jonathan Foreman, James Giles, Luther Halsey, Jacob Harris, James Hurd, John Hurd, William Helms, Samuel Hendry, John Hollinshead, John Holmes, Jonathan Holmes, John Hopper, John Howell, Richard Howell, Andrew Hunter, Jacob Heyer, William Kersey, Abraham Kinney, John Kinney, Shepard Colick, Derek Lane, Nathaniel Leonard, Richard Lloyd, Francis Luce, Absalom Martin, Giles Mead, Alexander Mitchell, Aaron Ogden, Matthias Ogden, Benaja Osman, John Peck, Robert Pemberton, William Sanford Pennington, Jonathan Phillips, Jacob Pyatt, William Pyatt, John Polhimus, Samuel Redding, Anthony Reckless, John Reed, John Reed, John Rucastle, Jonathan Rhea, John Ross, Cornelius Riker Sedum, Samuel C. Seeley, Israel Shreve, Samuel Moore Shute, William Shute, Jonathan Snowden, Oliver Spencer, Moses Sproul, Ebenezer Stockton, Abraham Stout, Wessel Ten Broke Stout, Edmund Disney Thomas, William Tuttle, George Walker, Abel Wayman, Ephraim Lockhart Whitlock. Topic: <laughs> Pennsylvania. John Armstrong Jr., Joshua Barney, John Barry, William Bingham, Thomas Bood, Daniel Broadhead, David Brooks, Edward Butler, Richard Butler, Thomas Butler, William Butler, Thomas Craig, Richard Dale, James Gilchrist, Edward Hand, Josiah Harmer, Thomas Hartley, Stuart Herbert, Richard Humpton, William Irvine, Francis Johnston, John Paul Jones, Robert Magaw, Thomas Mifflin, John Peter Gabriel Mullenberg, Alexander Murray, Louis Nicola, Samuel Nicholas, Zebulon Pike, Thomas Pro Doctor, Arthur St. Clair, William Thompson, Anthony Wayne, Baron von Steuben, Isaac Van Horn, Jacob Bauer. Delaware 
Daniel Jennifer Adams, Enoch Anderson, Joseph Anderson, Thomas Anderson, William Anderson, Caleb Prue Bennett, James Campbell, John Driscoll, Henry Duff, Reuben Gilder, David Hall, Joseph Hossman, John Vance Hyatt, Peter Jaquette Jr., James Jones, Charles Kidd, David Kirkpatrick, Robert Henry Kirkwood, Henry Latimer, John Learmonth, William McKennon, Alan, Alan McLean, Stephen McWilliam, Nathaniel Mitchell, George Monroe, James Moore, John Patton, John Platt, Charles Pope, George Perkins, Service, Edward Roche, Ebenezer Augustus Smith, James Tilton, Nathaniel Twinning, Joseph Vaughan, William Adams, son of Nathan Adams, and Joseph Hazlitt, son of John Hazlitt. Topic: <laughs> Maryland. Lloyd Beale, Joshua Burgess, Hoseus Carvel Hall, Mordecai Gist, John Gunby, Thomas Lancaster Lansdale, James Lingan, Daniel Morgan, Nathaniel Ramsey, William Smallwood, Tench Tillman, Otho Williams, Richard Pindle, Surgeon, Joshua Barney. Topic: <laughs> Virginia. George Baylor, Francis T. Brook, Abraham Buford, Nicholas Cabell, William Overton Callis, Edward Carrington, Louis de Corny, John Cropper, William Davies, Christian Febiger, Horatio Gates, John Gibson, William Grayson, John Green, Charles Harrison, William Heth, Peter Higgins, Samuel Hopkins, Henry Lee III, John Crittenden Sr., Charles Lewis, George Matthews, James Monroe, Daniel Morgan, John Mullenberg, John Neville, Thomas Overton, Major Charles Pelham, Thomas Posey, Major Major John Pryor, William Russell, Alexander Skinner, Richard Taylor, John Ward, John Watts, George Washington, George Augustine Washington, George Whedon, David Williams, Willis Wilson, James Wood, William Russell, Virginia, Brigadier General William Russell. Topic: <laughs> North Carolina. William Lee Alexander, James Armstrong, John Armstrong, Thomas Armstrong, John Baptist Ash, Samuel Ash Jr., Peter Bacot, Benjamin Bailey, Kedar Ballard, Robert Bell, Jacob Blunt, Redding Blunt, Adam Boyd, Joseph Blith, E. G. Bradley, Alexander Brevard, Joseph Brevard, William Bush, Thomas Callender, John Campbell, James Campen, Benjamin Carter, Thomas Clark, John Clendenin, Benjamin Coleman, John Craddock, Anthony Crutcher, John Daves, Samuel Denny, Charles Dixon, Tillman Dixon, Wynne Dixon, George Doherty, Thomas Donahoe, Thomas Evans, Richard Fenner, Robert Fenner, William Farabee, Thomas Finney, John Ford, Ford, James Fergus, Fergus, Charles Gerard, Gerard, Francis Graves, James West Green, Joshua Hadley, Clement Hall, Selby Harney, Robert Hayes, John Hill, Thomas Hogg, Hardy Holmes, Robert Howe, John Ingalls, Curtis Ivey, Abner Lamb, Nathaniel Lawrence, Nehemiah Long, Archibald Lytle, William Lytle, William McLean, McLean, William McClure, James McDougall, John McNeese, Griffith John McCree, Joseph Monfort, James Moore, Henry Murphy, John Nelson, Thomas Pasteur, Pasteur, William Polk, Robert Rayford, Jesse Reed, John Reed, Reed, Joseph Thomas Rhodes, William Sanders, Saunders, Anthony Sharp, E. Daniel Shaw, Stephen Slade, John Slaughter, Jesse Steed, John Summers, Jethro Sumner, James Tate, Howell Tatum, James Tatum, James Thaxton, Nathaniel Williams, William Williams. Williams, and Edward Yarborough. Topic: <inaudible> South Carolina. Isaac Hooger, James Kennedy, Charles Lining, William Moultrie, Thomas Pinckney. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Georgia. James Armstrong, Samuel Elbert, George Matthews, John Milton, Francis Tennille. Topic: France. Jean Baptiste de Traversé, Maxime Julien Emeriau de Beauverger, Pierre L'Enfant, Louis René Levisor de Latouche Travel, Paul François Ignace de Barletier de Moss, Gilbert Du Motier, Louis Marc Antoine de Noailles, Georges René Le Pelly de Plevel, Charles Armand Tuffin, Jean Gaspard Vence, Alexander Theodore Victor, Jean Baptiste Donatine de Vimer, Joseph de Cambys, Henri de Saint Simon. Sweden Count Axel von Fersen, Baron Kurt von Stedink, members of the French Society.
Topic: <laughs> Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Tadeusz Kosciuszko. Topic: <laughs> Insignia. On June 19, 1783, the General Society of the Cincinnati adopted the bald eagle as its insignia. It is one of America's first post-revolution symbols and an important piece of American iconography. It is the second official American emblem to use the bald eagle, following the Great Seal of the United States. The insignia may have been derived from the same discourse that produced the seal. The suggestion of the bald eagle as the Cincinnati insignia was made by Major Pierre L'Enfant, a French officer who joined the American Army in 1777, served in the Corps of Engineers, and became one of the first members of the society. He observed that, T he bald eagle, which is unique to this continent, and is distinguished from those of other climates by its white head and tail, appears to me to deserve attention. In 1783, L'Enfant was commissioned to travel to France to have the first eagle badges made. Based on his design, L'Enfant later planned and partially laid out the city of Washington, D.C. The medallions at the center of the Cincinnati American Eagle depict, on the obverse, Cincinnatus receiving his sword from Roman senators and, on the reverse, Cincinnatus at his plow being crowned by the figure of Fame, a personification of fame. The society's colors, light blue and white, symbolize the fraternal bond between the United States and France. A specially commissioned eagle, worn by President General George Washington was presented to Marquis de Lafayette in 1824 during his grand tour of the United States. This badge remained in possession of the Lafayette family until sold at auction on December 11, 2007, for US$5.3 million United States dollars by Lafayette's great-great-granddaughter. Together with what are believed to be the original ribbon and red leather box, the badge was purchased by the José and René de Chambrin Foundation for display in Lafayette's bedroom at Chateau La Grange, his former home, 30 miles east of Paris. It may also be displayed at Mount Vernon, Washington's former home in Virginia. This was one of three eagles known to have been owned by Washington, who most often wore the Diamond Eagle, a diamond encrusted badge given him by the French Matelots sailors. That diamond eagle continues to be passed down to each President General of the Society of the Cincinnati as part of his induction into office. The Cincinnati Eagle is displayed in various places of public importance, including in Fountain Square in Cincinnati named for the Society, Ohio, alongside the American and municipal flags. The flag of the Society displays blue and white stripes and a dark blue canton containing a circle of 14 stars around the Cincinnati Eagle, representing the 14 subsidiary societies, one each in the 13 original states and France in the upper corner next to the hoist. Refer to the section below for the city's historical connection to the Cincinnati. On ceremonial occasions, members may wear their badges on their American military uniforms. Topic criticism When news of the foundation of the society spread, Judge Adonis Burke published several pamphlets under the pseudonym Cassius where he criticized the society as an attempt at re-establishing a hereditary nobility in the New Republic. The pamphlets, entitled An Address to the Freeman of South Carolina January 1783 and Considerations on the Society or Order of Cincinnati October 1783 sparked a general debate that included prominent names, including Thomas Jefferson and John Adams. The criticism voiced concern about the apparent creation of an hereditary elite, membership eligibility as inherited through primogeniture, and generally excluded enlisted men and militia officers, unless they were placed under state line or continental line forces for a substantial time period, and their descendants. Benjamin Franklin was among the society's earliest critics. He was concerned about the creation of a quasi-noble order, and of the society's use of the eagle in its emblem, as evoking the traditions of heraldry and the English aristocracy. In a letter to his daughter Sarah Batch written on January 26, 1784, Franklin commented on the ramifications of the Cincinnati, I only wonder that, when the united wisdom of our nation had, in the Articles of Confederation, manifested their dislike of establishing ranks of nobility, by authority either of the Congress or of any particular state, a number of private persons should think proper to distinguish themselves and their posterity, from their fellow citizens, and form an order of hereditary knights, in direct opposition to the solemnly declared of their country. The influence of the Cincinnati members, former officers, was another concern. 
When delegates to the Constitutional Convention were debating the method of choosing a president, James Madison the Secretary of the Convention reported the following speech of Elbridge Gerry of Massachusetts, a popular election in this case is radically vicious. The ignorance of the people would put it in the power of some one set of men dispersed through the Union and acting in concert to delude them into any appointment. He observed that such a society of men existed in the order of the Cincinnati. They are respectable, united, and influential. They will in fact elect the chief magistrate in every instance, if the election be referred to the people. Jerry's respect for the characters composing this society could not blind him to the danger and impropriety of throwing such a power into their hands. The debate spread to France on account of the eligibility of French veterans from the Revolutionary War. In 1785 Honoré Gabriel Riquetti, Comte de Mirabeau was approached by Franklin, who was at the time stationed in Paris and suggested to him to write something about the society directed at the French public. Mirabeau was provided with Burke's pamphlets and Franklin's letter to his daughter, and from this, with the help of Nicholas Chamfort, created his own enlarged version entitled Considerations Sir Lordre de Cincinnatus which was published in London November that year. An English translation carried out by Samuel Romilly followed, of which an American edition was published in 1786. Following this public debate and criticism, George Washington, who had been unaware of the particulars of the charter when he agreed to become president of the society, began to have doubts about the benefit of the society. He had in fact considered abolishing the society on its very first general meeting May 4, 1784. However, in the meantime Major L'Enfant had arrived bringing his designs of the diplomas and medals, as well as news of the success of the society in France, which made an abolishment of the society impossible. Washington instead at the meeting launched an ultimatum, that if the clauses about heredity were not abandoned, he would resign from his post as president of the society. This was accepted, and furthermore informal agreement was made not to wear the eagles in public, so as not to resemble European chivalrous orders. A new charter, the so-called Institution, was printed, which omitted among others the disputed clauses about heredity. This was sent to the local chapters for approval, and it was approved in all of them except for the chapters in New York, New Hampshire and Delaware. However, when the public furor about the society had died down, the new institution was rescinded, and the original reintroduced, including the clauses about heredity. The French chapter, who had obtained official permission to form from the King Louis XVI of France, also abolished heredity, but never reintroduced it, and thus the last members were approved February 3, 1792, shortly before the French monarchy was disbanded. Later activities <laughs> City development by early members The members of the Cincinnati were among those developing many of America's first and largest cities to the west of the Appalachians, most notably Cincinnati, Ohio and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The first governor of the Northwest Territory, Arthur St. Clair, was a member of the society. He renamed a small settlement, Cincinnati, to honor the society and to encourage settlement by society members. Among them were Captain Jacob Pyatt, who settled across the river from Cincinnati in northern Kentucky on land granted to him for his service during the war. Captain David Ziegler was the first mayor of Cincinnati. Lieutenant Ebenezer Denny (1761–1822), an original Pennsylvanian Cincinnatus, was elected the first mayor of the incorporated city of Pittsburgh in 1816. Pittsburgh developed from Fort Pitt, which had been commanded since 1777 to 1783 by four men who were founding members of the society. Richard Varick was a mayor of New York City. Topic. Public awareness Today's society supports efforts to increase public awareness and memory of the ideals and actions of the men who created the American Revolution and an understanding of American history, with an emphasis on the period from the outset of the Revolution to the War of 1812. At its headquarters at Anderson House in Washington, D.C., the Society holds manuscript, portrait, and model collections pertaining to events of and military science during this period. Members of the Society have contributed to endow professorships, lecture series, awards, and educational materials in relation to the United States representative democracy. 
The definition and acceptance of membership has remained with the constituent societies rather than with the general society in Washington. The society maintains a tradition of service in American government, especially in the federal executive branch. Members of the society have served in the armed forces, the State Department and other parts of the executive branch. Membership rules Over the years, membership rules have continued as first established. They provide for approving the application of a collateral heir if the direct mail line dies out. Membership has been expanded in some state societies to include descendants of those who died during the war, but it remains limited. An officer of the Continental Army during the Revolutionary War can generally be represented in the Society of the Cincinnati by only one descendant at a time. The only U.S. president who was a true hereditary member was Franklin Pierce. The General Society no longer admits honorary members. Andrew Jackson and Zachary Taylor were honorary members before becoming presidents. Other presidents became honorary members while in office, and after leaving office. Each of the fourteen constituent societies has honorary members, but these men cannot designate an heir referred to as a successor member. Cox Book Prize The Cox Book Prize is a triennial award, instituted in 1989, and given to the author of a distinguished book on American history, especially on the topic of the American Revolution, that has been published in the past three years. It has not been awarded since 2013. Since 1989, the authors awarded this prize are as follows. 1989 Bernard Balin, Voyagers to the West, A Passage in the Peopling of America on the Eve of the Revolution. 1992 Peter D. G. Thomas, Tea Party to Independence, The Third Phase of the American Revolution 1995 Stanley M. Elkins and Eric L. McKittrick, The Age of Federalism 1998 Jack N. Rakove, Original Meanings, Politics and Ideas in the Making of the Constitution 2001 Saul Cornell, The Other Founders, Anti-Federalism and the Dissenting Tradition in America 2004 Elizabeth Fenn, Pox Americana, The Great Smallpox Epidemic of 1775-1782 2007 Alan Taylor, The Divided Ground, Indians, Settlers, and the Northern Borderland of the American Revolution 2010 Matthew H. Spring, With Zeal and with Bayonets Only, The British Army on Campaign in North America, 1775-1783 2013 Benjamin L. Carp, Defiance of the Patriots, The Boston Tea Party and the Making of America <inaudible> Headquarters The Society is headquartered in the Anderson House, also known as Lars Anderson House, at 2118 Massachusetts Avenue, northwest in the DuPont Circle neighborhood of Washington, D.C. The Anderson House also serves as a society museum and research library. It is located on the Embassy Row section, near international embassies. Anderson House was built between 1902 and 1905 as the winter residence of Lars Anderson, an American diplomat, and his wife, Isabel Weld Perkins, an author and American Red Cross volunteer. The architects Arthur Little and Herbert Brown of Boston designed Anderson House in the Beaux-Arts style. Anderson House was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1971 and was further designated a National Historic Landmark in 1996. The Society's museum collections include portraits, armaments, and personal artifacts of Revolutionary War soldiers, commemorative objects, objects associated with the history of the Society and its members, including Society of the Cincinnati China and Insignia, portraits and personal artifacts of members of the Anderson family, and artifacts related to the history of the house, including the U.S. Navy's occupation of it during World War II. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Library. The Library of the Society of the Cincinnati collects, preserves, and makes available for research printed and manuscript materials relating to the military and naval history of the 18th century and early 19th century, with a particular concentration on the people and events of the American Revolution and the War of 1812. 
The collection includes a variety of modern and rare materials including official military documents, contemporary accounts and discourses, manuscripts, maps, graphic arts, literature, and many works on naval art and science. In addition, the library is the home to the archives of the Society of the Cincinnati as well as a collection of material relating to Lars and Isabel Anderson. The library is open to researchers by appointment. American Independence Museum The Society of the Cincinnati in the state of New Hampshire owns and operates through a board of governors the American Independence Museum in Exeter, New Hampshire. The American Independence Museum is a private, not-for-profit institution whose mission is to provide a place for the study, research, education and interpretation of the American Revolution and of the role that New Hampshire, Exeter, and the Gilman family played in the founding of the New Republic. Museum collections include two rare drafts of the U.S. Constitution, an original Dunlap broadside of the United States Declaration of Independence, as well as an original badge of military merit, awarded by George Washington to soldiers demonstrating extraordinary bravery. Exhibits highlight the Society of the Cincinnati, the nation's oldest veteran society, and its first president, George Washington. Permanent collections include American furnishings, ceramics, silver, textiles, and military ephemera. See below for a link to the museum. Topic: <laughs> Affiliations. American Philosophical Society. Many Cincinnati were among its first board members and contributors. The modern societies maintain informal collegial relationships only. Topic: <laughs> Notable original members. Notable hereditary members Military and naval officers Government officials Others Topic Notable Honorary Members Since its inception, the Society of the Cincinnati has allowed for honorary members to be admitted who have distinguished themselves in military or public service. Topic Presidents of the United States Note, every president who served in the eras of 1885 to 1923 38 years and from 1929 to 1953 24 years was an honorary member of the society. Presidents George Washington and James Monroe were original members of the society and President Franklin Pierce was an hereditary member. Zachary Taylor was admitted as an honorary member of the New York Society in 1847, and could have been a hereditary member of the Virginia Society by right of his father, Lieutenant Colonel Richard Taylor d. 1826, had it been active at the time of his father's death. <laughs> Nobel Peace Prize recipients Theodore Roosevelt 1906. Elihu Root 1912 Woodrow Wilson 1919 Cordell Hall 1945 George Marshall 1953 Topic Nobel Prize for Literature recipient Winston Churchill 1953 hereditary member Topic Navy officers Topic Marine Corps officers Topic Army officers Topic Government officials
Topic: Civilians. Topic: Foreigners. Topic: See also. Military Order of Foreign Wars Military Order of the Loyal Legion of the United States Order of the Founders and Patriots of America Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War Sons of the American Revolution Sons of the Revolution Notes Bibliography Buck, William Bowen the Society of the Cincinnati in the State of New Jersey, the John L. Murphy Publishing Company, Printers for the Society of the Cincinnati in the State of New Jersey, 1898. Callahan, North 1958. Henry Knox, General Washington's General. Reinhardt. Cherno, Ron 2010. Washington, A Life. Penguin Press. ISBN 978-1-59420-266-7, asterisk Davis, Curtis Carroll. Revolution's Godchild, The Birth, Death, and Regeneration of the Society of the Cincinnati in North Carolina, The University of North Carolina Press for the North Carolina Society of the Cincinnati, 1976. Doyle, William Chapter 4, Aristocracy Avoided, America and the Cincinnati pages 86 to 137. Aristocracy and its Enemies in the Age of Revolution. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0199559855. Hill, Stephen. The Delaware Cincinnati, 1783-1988, Dorrance and Company, Inc. for the Delaware Cincinnati Charitable Trust, 1988. Hoey, Edwin. A New and Strange Order of Men, American Heritage, v. 19, Issue 5, August 1968. Hunamorder, Marcus. The Society of the Cincinnati, Conspiracy and Distrust in Early America. Bergen Books, 2006. Lossing, Benson John Pictorial Fieldbook of the Revolution. Volume 1 1850. Metcalf, Bryce. Original Members and Other Officers Eligible to the Society of the Cincinnati, Shenandoah Publishing House, Inc., 1938. Myers, Minor. Liberty Without Anarchy, A History of the Society of the Cincinnati, University of Virginia Press, 1983. Olson, Lester C. Benjamin Franklin's Vision of American Community, A Study in Rhetorical Iconology. University of South Carolina Press, 2004. Poles, Mark, 2008. Henry Knox, Visionary General of the American Revolution. St. Martin's Press. ISBN 978-0-2306-1142-9. Warren, Winslow. The Society of the Cincinnati, A History of the General Society of the Cincinnati with the Institution of the Order, Massachusetts Society of the Cincinnati, 1929. <laughs> External links Official official website General Information American Independence Museum Daughters of the Cincinnati Mount Julian Historic Site Society of the Cincinnati Politician Members at the Political Graveyard